Hi dear friends, welcome to Top Education. In this session, we will learn the chapter 5th of IFS that is Financial Services. So guys, first we will know what is Financial Services. So guys, Financial Services means it refers to a service which are financially in nature offered by financial institution to its customers. So here the financial institution is giving a service to the their customers. So this is known as financial services. It may be leasing, factoring, etc. So guys, let's know the futures of financial services. So guys, let's know the finan futures of financial services. Intangibility. Intangibility, guys, it cannot be touched. Like guys, its common service cannot be touched. Then customer oriented. How it is customer oriented means if there is no customer, then service is not provided. The service is, is provided when a customers ask that service, then that service is provided. So it is customer oriented. Perishable in nature. Yes, it will not stay like a gold. Okay, perishable in nature, it can perish in few seconds only. So there should be production and consumption at same place. Inseparable. Yes, guys, service cannot be separated as goods are separated on quality quantity basis. Direct sale. Yes, guys, the production and consumption takes place and the direct sales takes place. Labor intensive. So guys, these service financial service especially that should be a banker so he is the one who will produce that service there only and give to the consumer that time only and the consumer will consume at that time only so it is labor intensive and heterogeneity yes there are many types of services atm service venture capital service factoring service leasing service and many many etc so guys this were the futures of financial services then let's know uh, importance of financial services guys i think importance will not come so points are enough first is economic growth promotion of saving Capital formation. How capital formation? It will take from saver and give it to those people who aren't needed. Provision of liquidity. Yes, cash can be uh, asset can be done into cash and cash can be do, done into asset. Creation of employment opportunity. Yes, guys. After see this financial services, how it is done by only a labor intensive and there future also we had labor intensive only. So guys, let's know leasing and uh, there are types of leasing also. Guys, if you refer, it's too easy. So let's say, I'll, I'll say you the meaning of leasing only. So guys, leasing is an agreement between lesser and lessee. So here, lesser is uh, giving lessee a particular asset, land or something else to use. And in return, the like they will have a huge amount on this for example i can give you the leasing system which you are do for your house like they will not use rent they will use leasing it will be very good but in other cases some legal facilities and all will be there so somebody go to rent only so got it what is it so it is an agreement between lesser and lessee where lesser gives his land to lessee for use and in turn he will uh, have some profits and all so this is lessee and next we have factoring guys what is factoring means here factoring means see like when company sold its goods on credit basis it takes many days to collect its debt but if the company is in need of money, it can use factoring facility and can convert its debts into liquidity cash. So factoring here refers to it. Here financial institution, what they will do is the company will give their assets to that banking and bank will give cash and 
the uh, interest will be charged on this types of factoring also okay guys so this is factoring in factoring we can see factorer okay uh, receivable accounts and also it is like at conversion only and there are types of factoring which is very very easy guys it's uh, simple and sweet so now we have discounting of bills what is discounting of bills means generally company offers goods and services to its customers on credit basis and draws bill from the purchaser normally it takes 3 to 6 months to convert bill into cash at that instant it becomes difficult for a company to run business activities smoothly to overcome from this situations the company can go for discounting of bills uh, guys i am drawing some uh, diagrams so you will get to know what is factoring what is leasing what is bills of discounting and all so bills of discounting means here uh, a and b a is selling to b in credit basis and i am giving bill also to him so that bill now that b is not able to pay and i want money in urgent i have to make payment to the raw materials and all so i will take that bill from b and i will give it to bank and that bank will take upset that bill and give me cash and bank will charge certain rate of interest this is a financial service given by bank only so here afterwards that b can give his money so i am free now so this is known as bills of discounting bills of discounting is a uh, little only then guys what is venture capital somebody are not knowing what is venture capital correctly venture capital means many of groups come together like a b c d e f g all the people come and invest like they are rich people okay think i am a poor people i have an idea but i don't have investment so what i will do i will say my idea to a b c d e f g and all so they are rich they will invest on me and I will not become owner of that company because they have paid me. So in agreement, I will get only 3-4% of profit and others will go to them. So this is called venture capital. Venture capital means idea will be mine but the capital will be others. Bank also offers this type of facility. So this is called venture capital capital there are different types of venture capital also you can see them now guys we have loan loan everybody loan everybody knows what is loan loan can be longer period of shorter period loan can be for home vehicle and all so loan is easy only now housing finance guys a uh, buddhu can say what is housing finance housing finance means the loan which is given for building of a house okay so housing finance and there are types of housing finance also then higher purchase system by god ki kasam this higher purchase system is an accountancy everyone knows i think so let's know a quick point higher purchase system is a method of selling goods on credit where purchaser is allowed to purchase goods and allow him to pay the amount on installment basis higher purchase system now i am vendor and he is purchaser vendor who is selling purchaser who is taking so here i am giving him a asset and i will not take fully payment i will take installment basis first he will do down payment then monthly basis he will pay me so royalty and all will come no so this is known as higher purchase system and guys next we have fee based services fee based services also are there fund based services all there fund which is big part of amount like venture capital this capital factoring leasing and all fund based means big amount are invested fee based services means small small amount are given means fee based system fund means big big amount of interest are charged for the customers and here small rate of interest is charged for a customer and here also guys we have 
something portfolio management what is portfolio management portfolio management means if my business is going on loss so some suggestion will be given do like this your profit will increase so if profit increase i have to pay them or first only i have to pay and then we have mergers and acquisition what is mergers and acquisition guys mergers and for acquisition means here a company will join to another company is known as merger and acquisition so guys we are uh, i think uh, we have done in second puc some sums okay accountancy sums so that and all are here and foreign collaboration collaborating with foreigners foreign companies this is known as foreign collaborator okay and then we have capital reconstructing let's know what is capital reconstructing capital reconstructing is a process of recognizing structure or combination of various debt and equity so guys what is capital reconstruction means now the bank is giving me a huge loan and they have to take some assets and all so that asset if i am not able to pay that uh, loan amount then that asset should pay the whole amount of what they have given me so this is known as capital reconstruction method so guys this is only your fifth chapter it is very very easy i think and guys <coughs> this chapter i think it will come for two, uh, two marks something and all and more and more it will come for 14 marks last three points i think so guys it's very easy i i think you have to attend this questions and all it's very easy if you show flow chart how it works then you can achieve more marks also so guys i will say bye because your syllabus is completed so guys thank you and please have a thumbs up on this video and please subscribe our channel top education and share to your best friends who are in need of this types of videos so bye guys top education thank you